So guys, <clears throat> uh, today I'm going to be showing you what's uh, threading in Kivi and how to, why to use it and how to use it. So as always, we have a main.py and a Kivi uh, and a Kivi and a Kivi file. So let's uh, create something in our in our uh, in our first screen. Maybe a label. Okay, and uh, this label has a text, of course. Let's say judo written. And in here, let's give it a font size. Maybe font size is uh, font size, sorry, font size. Maybe self dot or root dot pi dot four point four five. Okay, let's give it a position. And position maybe uh, dot width or of four point maybe three this way and and root <laughs> dot height of zero point five. Okay, let's run this and see if it works. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna talk about threading, <laughs> and the best way to give you an example is <coughs> maybe let's try to create a loop in here let's create a while true and in here we're gonna print hello okay so if we do this the app is gonna be bugged okay we are printing hello but nothing in the ui is showing that that's because the app itself is a loop and we are stuck in this loop and we cannot print anything or show anything in our uh, in our application so how to avoid this to avoid this is by doing by creating by creating uh, a thread and that's very simple so we come here we define a function we call it some function some function and uh, in here we're gonna say while true while true and then we're gonna print hello this way and afterwards we're gonna well we're gonna name a thread create a thread this way we call it thread one and that thread one is threading dot thread and we have to pass in target so target is uh, let's say uh, some function this way and in here we come down here we're gonna get we're gonna have to get rid of this and pass in thread one this way start and also we have to start our app so threading dot God, I cannot type thread, and uh, we're gonna say this target equal to the app dot maybe uh, say run this way. Okay, you can see that it's no more bugging. We are able to print our hello, but not affecting anything uh, that's on our app. Okay. So the next step is to, the next step is to maybe try to pass in something from this thread to our app, okay? Because that's the point of, that's the point of it. No, I, I guess so. So let me get rid of this first, okay? So in here, maybe let's do, uh, okay, we have time. Maybe let's work something around time. And then let's say, uh, let's say time, time, uh, maybe sleep. Okay, for one second. And now let's get rid of the sprint and then say count is equal to count plus one. And let's initiate the count to, to, to zero this way. And uh, that's all, I guess. Uh, 
okay so we have to pass it uh we have to we have to pass we have to pass the count so in here we have to say global count this way and in here also so count and uh, maybe this way global counts and in here maybe we're gonna be able to print our count but it's gonna be it's not gonna be updated so we need we're gonna need a clock so clock dot schedule interval and we have to pass in a, maybe a function we have to define a, a function so self so maybe get from thread this way and we're gonna call it each second so in here we have to define it so self def self uh, get from thread this way and it takes self and args okay in here we're gonna do this let's do something even fancier okay so ids or id I'm sorry, I cannot type really. ID, let's call it LDL. And in here, we're gonna sell, we're gonna say self IDs, LDL dot text is equal to uh, the count from the outer red is plus a TR count and let's see if it works okay you can see that we are not only looping but also passing this count to uh, to our F screen to the ID uh, LBL in our first screen uh, this is it I guess that's all about that's all about it I hope you enjoyed the video, leave uh, maybe a comment if you didn't understand something. You can find also the code source in uh, below. That's all.